Three, two, one. Hey, internet friend, it's Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative and Synergy Event Marketing. And I'm here with somebody that's really, really quick. Her name is Kim Speed, right? <laughs> <laughs> is that the right name? That's right. Hi, Brad. How are you? Now, is that a brand name or is that your real name? my real name oh very cool see I, yeah. I go up by magic brad for my brand but my that's not my real name yeah no i actually <laughs> married into it and i thought i'll keep it because it's pretty cool and it people remember <laughs> it was a strategic marriage huh what's your last name before we get serious what's your last name <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, so I don't do these, do these too long because people have that commodity of time, 24 hours in a day, and we like to be able to get, to, get the basic essence, and then we uh, learn more about who you are and what you do and all. And you're from Canada, eh? Yes, eh? <laughs> from <laughs> Toronto. Yeah, so we're neighbors. Toronto, I'm in Minnesota. Yes, then, not, it's not actually that far away. No, I used to go to karate tournaments up in Duluth by Lake Superior, and all the Canadians would come down for the karate tournaments, and you guys are nuts. <laughs> <laughs> wild and crazy uh, so you married got kids and all that kind of stuff so i have uh, i married and i have two kids um one is uh 16 and one is 23 oh <laughs> so, there you go yeah good margin so, there you had to take to, a break right <laughs> yes exactly i took exactly. a break and exactly. had to decide whether we would do this again <laughs> how long have you lived in canada um that, that area, all the my same life, area. All the my same life. Same area, there. kind of stuck there? Yeah. 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 Very similar here. I did move to Asheville, North Carolina. I did a couple of years in Los Angeles. And, oh, wow. But I'm back here in Minneapolis. We just like it here, the change of the seasons. People don't yeah. experience that down in Arizona and California. I know. That's kind of funny eh, that you know, they don't have any change. It's just kind of brown. <laughs> <laughs> and hot. It's hot. Yeah. So let's get right into it a little bit. I read a little bit about what you do and things, and I believe that the umbrella is about branding. Is that correct? That's correct. So um, I work with small business owners, um, exclusively small business and entrepreneurs. And um, for the, I've been in business for the last 10 years doing solely this. Um, really, uh, my I started off thinking I'm going to help people market and then realized that I really needed to niche down even mm -hmm. further and help people figure out what their brand was first because they were out there wasting so much time and money trying to do all these marketing tactics and they didn't know who the heck they were and they didn't stand out and they couldn't differentiate themselves. So I put together a program where I work with small business owners to really figure that part out first, who you are who you want to be when you grow up type of thing. Yeah. Um, and who's, what is your niche or niche as you guys call it? <laughs> and um, you know, how to figure out what their problem is and how you solve it before we do any of the, you know, what you look like, what your logo is, what your website is and how you're going to market yourself. You know, that's so, so, so important these days since the inception of the internet, I started doing business right out of high school. And actually when I was a little kid, I was doing stuff like, turn my garage into a movie theater and charge kids a quarter and stuff. So I've kind of always been, oh, wow. <laughs> always been in some sort of businessy kind of mindset. I was the kid that bought candy in bulk and resold it to the, my, my classmates at profit. <laughs> but branding these days is really, really, really important. I can't stress it enough in that there's so much going on on the internet. And then you mentioned the niche or niche. You need yeah. to narrow cast these days. You can't, like if you sold skin cream, well, everybody's got skin. You'll yeah. never get through all those people. So you no. need to narrow it down. And I think it's really important to have someone like yourself to be able to communicate with those people so they can kind of ask those questions and find out, like you said, who they are. Because oftentimes, as an individual, we stare in the mirror and we don't really know what we really want to do when we grow up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And that's a, like I always say, you have all the information in there. What I do is just bring it out and mm -hmm. help you find the best parts and what's what's that secret sauce that you own and and then how do we create that into a powerful brand that reaches the right people and doesn't waste your time on the wrong people exactly it's a matter of uh, chipping away the, the stuff on the sculpture right that's right yeah, that's right that and it's amazing when you start to do that you become the expert to the right people 
and they realize how the value that you bring and they want to work with you. Do you work specifically, like you said, small to mid-sized businesses, owner operator type folks, do you work within any specific niche like health and wellness or relationships or manufacturing or? So I work with service-based entrepreneurs. Um, my uh, sweet spot is businesses that are 12 people and, or 10 people and under. And I work in um, health and wellness and um, business service. See, that's, that's, you know, I've got this thing, I call it entrepreneurial ADD, <laughs> where, mm -hmm. where I'm always looking for an opportunity and it's really hard to stay within that niche. But oh, once know, you get that avatar selected, you know exactly how to write your copy because you know exactly who you're talking to, that it's a, a 42 year old woman that has three kids that lives and likes the water and enjoys skiing in the summer. You know exactly what to write and that's yeah. who you're going to align with and attract. So. You're yeah. doing a wonderful service for people, saving them a lot of grief. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. It seems to help people actually get, you know, organized and focused and, and get on track. And it really does help start to bring in the money. Well, people buy from what they say, the people that they know, like, and trust. And uh, yeah. when you get to, I mean, a good, good example is if you're a Democrat and you're promoting Democrat kind of stuff, the likelihood of you working with a Republican, mm. so you got to yeah. align. And similar yeah. type, like the female business owner, we're doing a, a woman's business expo here in Minneapolis. That's what I do is I produce business trade shows. And women's business is just kind of like skyrocketing. There's oh. so many that they just said, heck with corporate, I'm starting my own deal. And it's yeah. the, girl and, boss, lady boss. <laughs> and they're, they're better at it, in my opinion. I feel like I'm at a disadvantage because <laughs> what's happened these days, I believe, is there's the whole collaboration thing. And women are so much better at that where the men are good at conquering. And uh, yes. those days yeah. are gone. Especially yeah, we want to hold each other's hand and help each other out. Yeah, because it's, uh, it's an abundant world. There's, there's no lack of clients, you know. No, no, there isn't. And, and that's why it's important to, you know, figure out who you really want to work with, because even within that, there's lots and lots of people. Um, and when you said, too, when you had a struggle choosing your own niche, or because um, there's so much out there, and sometimes it's really hard to narrow it down. I also find even when you do narrow it down, that doesn't mean that other people aren't going to come to you, but you don't have to waste your time marketing to them because they're going to come to you because they've heard, yeah. you know, and then you can decide if it's right, if you can help them. Well, I'm going through that exactly right now. My background is in the events industry because I started doing magic as a kid and that got me into corporate events, trade shows and conventions and things like that. So I, my target was event planners and I knew right. my niche and I did this event planner expo. I've been doing it every March. And then I started a new company now with a partner and we decided to do a business expo that's more of a horizontal market. So what that's done is it's done a disservice to me because now I don't know what I'm grabbing for. Whereas before right. I knew I was looking for event planners. Now it's business owners and it's kind of nebulous. And Minneapolis isn't huge, but it's hard to put them all together in a niche and get them all in the same room at the same time. <laughs> well, we need to talk. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's that kind of thing that, like I said, it's, it's all of a sudden you see opportunity and you take off and it's, it's, a, it's good to have someone like a coach like you that can kind of slap and say, get back in line, don't be going out there and all that stuff. Yeah. For me, it's kind yeah. of too late because I've already pulled the cat out of the bag. <laughs> 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 well, hopefully you know how to talk to them. Yep, I do. Um, yeah. That's what's fascinating. I mean, uh, like I mentioned earlier, I've been in business for a while and stuff with like Facebook, it's, it's amazing how you can target male or female and within a 10 mile radius that have an interest in uh, wellness and yoga, yeah, you can yeah. nail down those people and just pour some money into it. And they're the only ones that see your audience. So it's really, it's really, it's amazing what you can do. Online. It's pretty fascinating yeah. these days. So <laughs> as long as I can keep that in my head and do all that, my business partner right now is researching a database. So that's exactly well, what we're doing. And, you, and like you just said, you've been doing it for a long time. And there are people that definitely know you already. So you're kind of expanding, which is yep. different than if you're starting out and you're really trying, like you're not making money, you need to really focus somewhere. Yep. So that's a difference. That's what I mean. And it's really easy in this abundant world of ours to say, oh my God, I could start doing these shows in Milwaukee and Singapore and 
Kuala Lumpur yeah. and Sydney, Australia, and all of a sudden you've lost focus. You got a laser yeah. target. So, again, I appreciate people like you that can keep, kind of keep the reins and steer the horse. You know. <laughs> And it's, you know what, it's so much fun to work with these um, entrepreneurs. There's, um, you know, there's people that have been in business for a little bit and they want to get to the next level. There's a, the people that are just starting out. And you know what, it's amazing. These people are amazing. They're just, so excited. I'm so impressed with so many of them. And they're so excited. They're yeah. passionate about what they're yeah. doing. Yeah. So again, I don't like to do these too long. So why don't you share with us how we get a hold of you in case someone wants a little guidance with their their niche or their niche or whatever you want to call it. Well, how do we find you? Um, you can check out my website. It's um, so my business is called Purple Moon Creative Brand and Marketing Boutique, and you can get to my website at purplemooncreative.com. But I would love to offer a gift to your audience, and that is I am the author of a book called. Oh, it's probably, it might be backwards. Oh, but, that's right. Branding. Oh, okay. Branding on a shoestring. And right now, I offer a free downloadable copy to your audience if they go to brandingonashoestringbook.com. Very good. And yeah. you can tell you know what you're talking about because it's Purple Moon and the book seems like it's purple. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Prince would be proud. <laughs> Yeah, a little bit of thought behind that. <laughs> yeah, you got to do it. Um, yeah. So I'm going to sign this one off, Kim, and uh, appreciate you taking the time. And if you want to stick around on later, we can have a little chat further. But I'm going to put this one in the can and beam it up to the universe and then well, propagate thanks, it out on the thanks blogs so much and stuff. for having me. Okay, thank you. Bye. Peace. <laughs>